Hi again then guys and welcome to another horror movie reaction Cut down of course to the fair use 10 minutes that you can do on YouTube Probably still get some studio issues, I, I usually do anyway, but we'll see how it goes This time though I wanted to do a reaction to actually one of my favourite movies Not just one of my favourite horror movies called Black Mountain Side Sometimes just known as Black Mountain it's from, I believe, 2015, if I recall correctly, and I think it's a Canadian film, or a Canadian-American horror film, something like that. I believe it had a very young director, he was like 21 or 22 at the time. I have reviewed it before on the channel. It's a fairly controversial film in terms of whether or not people think it's good. Some people find it to be a little bit subpar when it comes to the acting, for instance. I will agree that the acting isn't the best in some scenes more than others, but... I think the movie itself is more than strong enough to make up for that. So, of course, give me your thoughts down below if you've already seen the film, or if you haven't, well, of course, this is going to spoil some stuff for you, so I'd recommend checking it out first. But, without any further ado, let's get straight on with the film. Now, if I recall correctly, because it's been a while since I last watched this film, one of my favourite things about it is that it doesn't actually have a soundtrack. One of the things I like about the film as well is that the acting, although, yes, I understand some of the complaints people have, is, uh, it, to me, it's believable. They kind of feel like real people. It doesn't really feel like they're acting at all. And as you watch through the film, it's actually got some, some lore to it and some mythology, which I haven't really seen in many, if any, other films. I think, actually, another movie which is a little bit like this is a more recent film called The Ritual. And so it begins. Years, we've covered over two square kilometers of ground. So what do you do with the other 19 hours? Drink mostly. I love the use of lighting and shadows in this film as well. And, uh, this camp uh, in particular, the way it's lit. I like it. It's got like a... And and Giles, they have their own cabin. An ironically warm look and, uh, to it, considering the location. The movie also does a good job of setting up the fact that although these guys work together, they don't necessarily get along. Shape size, some of the defining characteristics, I'd put it about 20,000 BCE. Alien. <laughs> <laughs> but there are certainly multiple theories that you could have about the film, and that's one of the great things about it. Some of the best movies ever made have multiple theories. I'd actually love to work with the director of this film on a, on a project in future. I believe I spoke to him briefly, um on Twitter or something like that a while back but uh, yeah I like, I like the way he does things maybe bring one of my books to the screen <laughs> what's going on three of our guys are gone the other two went looking for them can we eat the workers yeah well, I believe in all sorts of wacky shit maybe something spooked them you know it's possible they are pretty superstitious people like I said earlier on about liking the monster I think there are far too few films, well, at least no an early far day. too few good ones that I've seen, that deal with like Native American, um, <laughs> Native American myths and monsters. It's got no fever. What did you eat? I don't know. The same shit I did. But these trucks aren't going to the reservation. They're going in the complete opposite direction. Well, if they're headed north, they're definitely dead. Our theory is that these were used uh, to mark uh, a hunting spot for a deer or maybe a bear. A lot of bear in this area? Yeah, but you don't have to worry about that. This place is covered in bear traps. And those will really fuck you up. Bear traps? Yeah, but they're only 30s by the dog meat. What's going on? Ah, uh, doctor, it's screaming. He wants to go check on Wells. It's... A, it's... Help me, hold it down! What the fuck are you waiting for? Yeah. I guess you could call this background music, actually. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! What Jesus Christ? Jensen. 
this is our youngest piece by about a hundred years so far. People are missing appendages, they're slouched over. I believe this depicts an illness, a plague. As the ice melted, the bacteria could have been unfrozen. Look. Look. As far as you can. There he is. A disease that makes you see the gods. Speaking of seeing God. I just found him here late then. I ran some tests on the tumors that were forming under his skin. The cells aren't human. What are they? They bear similarity to the cells of a cephalopod. Octopus. There were traces of human cells, but they were weird in the sense that they were in the process of changing. Into what? Into the octopus-like cells, or squid, or whatever. Cthulhu! Turning into an octopus. Is it contagious? Probably. What else did you see? Nothing. They're talking about you. Who? The other. They think you're going mad. I think if anything, maybe shrouding it in a little bit more shadow would help. Because the great thing about a deer is the only thing you really need to show is the antlers. You don't really need to show its face. And I think an interesting idea would have maybe been to make it skinless as well. I think a skinless deer would be a pretty interesting looking creature. Just the muscle and bone. Stop! He made me do so, so I, I cut his wrist, but he didn't die, so I, I, I cut his throat, but he kept screaming, so I thought if I take off his head and I kept hitting him, he didn't die, man. He didn't die, and I didn't know what to do. Stop. To stop his heart, but it didn't stop. It didn't stop, and it was horrible. I didn't know. Oh, it was so horrible. My God. On come. Circa. Get it, species. Shut up! Such tiny, insignificant creatures. gonna tell you guys really because it looks like you're about to leave us here I was not gonna leave you guys if I see you touching any of our shit I'm gonna shoot you well, you're not gonna eat you're not gonna sleep you're gonna die in here then let me die Don't worry about your fucking selves I'm fine Can't go anywhere like this. Uh, it's 90 miles. Uh, you're not real. Were you there when I created the stars? No. But still, you think you deserve understanding. I've done nothing to you. I'm leaving your home. You don't really think I'm bound to that structure, do you? See what I mean about the multiple theories. You could theorize that maybe it is a supernatural creature, a god of some kind, a demon, some kind of possession. Or you could theorize that it's purely a disease. There are cases in real life of people sharing a common uh, psychosis where they see the same things, often because of suggestion. If one person says that they've seen something, it can then inform what somebody else will think about. Personally, that's my theory. I believe that it's just a bug. 
just a disease from back in the day and they have a shared psychosis and if you actually look back through the film and think about the ways that it spoke to each of them it kind of ties into the way those guys already think There's one of them bear traps. The conversation that he had with the creature was on a much higher plane. I believe that it's a disease that brings out things that you've already thought about in your own mind. Paranoias. Um, but yeah, that's that's my theory anyway. I believe that it is just a, a disease that brings out the paranoia in your own mind. I don't think it's supernatural at all. I don't think there's any kind of God involved. I think it's a shared psychosis centered around the, the figurehead of a deer. And although I haven't looked back over the film and planned out the timeline and how the conversations went, it wouldn't surprise me if the only time that the others see a deer is once one of them sees the deer and then mentions it to another one. There is at least one specific scene where um, the tall dude tells the leader who blew up the camp, uh, the, the team leader, that he saw a deer. There's no evidence to suggest that the other guy saw a deer before that was suggested to him. And there's no evidence whatsoever for the first couple of guys seeing a deer at all. One of them just had a pure disease, which they had to cut his arm off for. Second guy, the trucker, or the, the guy with the trucker cap, he never said anything about a deer. He just killed himself. It was only once the tall guy, who was like from Norway or something, I think, it was only once he mentioned it that the others started mentioning it as well. African-American guy. We never saw him see anything. We saw evidence that he heard someone talking, but that was never tied into seeing the deer. So I do find it interesting that you could probably go back over the film and plan out the timeline and see what things were mentioned where and actually figure out who suggested the idea of a deer first, which I believe was the tall dude. And then how some of the others who heard that and they probably discussed it with started seeing it as well. And the only character throughout the whole film that never seemed to be affected by it for some reason was the Doctor. Throughout the entire movie, the Doctor never had anything happen to him at all that we saw any evidence of. I find that curious because you'd think that out of all of them, he's the one who would have the most exposure to it. He was around the bodies the whole time, seeing each of them, you know, one by one, talking about their dreams and giving them medications and all that. So he should have had the highest exposure. But then again, he's probably also keeping himself the most clean out of all of them and, and using sterile stuff. So yeah, I find it a fascinating film. I really like it. Uh, little to no music. And uh, like I said, I love the cinematography, that one shot at the end where he's shooting them uh, systematically with the rifle. I love the lighting, I, I like the casting. The only downside for me about the film, as I said toward the start, is some of the line delivery. I don't think the acting is bad. I think some of the line delivery is a little bit too rehearsed. Especially when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the professor, actually. A lot of the things that the professor said sounded like he'd kind of memorised the words exactly, rather than embodying the words and like putting it in his own way. Which... You know, that's fair enough. If that's what the director wanted him to do, uh, the same guy wrote and directed it. Like I said, I believe he's like 21, 22 at the time of making this. But yeah, if I ever had the chance to work with uh, the guy who wrote and directed this, I'd love it. I think that he, based on this film, could probably direct one of my stories pretty well. Because uh, I like to write with a similar kind of vibe. Maybe uh, Spore, perhaps, my second book, which has a that kind of creature feature disease kind of vibe to it with a, a small single location and a very simple small cast but yeah that was my reaction to black mountain side if you've already seen it i'd love to hear your thoughts it's definitely a divisive film some people really love it some people don't like it at all don't tend to be many people in between though which is good um and yeah if you haven't seen it yet well a lot of it's been spoiled for you now but definitely check it out if you get the chance so of course stick around on the channel for more movie reactions i've got plenty more still to come and uh yeah so of course follow the channel for those and until next time i'll see you then but for now as always thanks for watching <laughs>